what is the value of x now in this video we're going to see on how we can get the value of x in such a scenario now you see solving this problem by taking this x to the other side will not give us a solution because we shall have 5 being equal to x minus x which is actually 5 is not equal to 0 and we shall be have got rid of x and from there it means that we can't be able to get the value of x now what are we exactly supposed to do here now here's the method the first thing that we're going to do we shall square both the sides and if we do so we're going to expand this one using the quadratic identity that tells us that a plus b in bracket squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared so we're going to apply that my a is x which will be x squared plus 2 times a which is x times 5 that should be 10x then plus b squared which is 25 is equal to x squared now from here we can go ahead and do this this is x squared here and also i'm having here x squared so i can have them in one side or on one side so that i have x squared minus x squared plus 10x plus 25 is equal to a 0 now this one is actually equivalent to a 0 because x squared minus x squared is 0 meaning that i'm going to be left with 10x plus 25 is equal to a 0 so 10x is equal to negative 25 over 10 over 10 this is the mass 5 here 5 5 here 2 so this is mass negative 5 over 2 So our value of x is negative 5 over 2. Now the next thing that I want us to do is to test or to see if this the value of x will satisfy our equation. So we're going to have negative 5 over 2. Actually we've replaced this x here. plus 5 is equal to negative 5 over 2 again we've replaced this x with negative 5 over 2 now after that over 1 the lcm is 2 now if my lcm is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1 1 times negative 5 this is negative 5 plus 2 divided by 1 is actually 2 times 5 it is 10 which is equal to negative 5 over 2 now negative 5 plus 10 that is 5 over 2 is not equal to negative 5 over 2 now this tells us that the value of x does not exist why because we've got that 5 over 2 is not equal to negative 5 over 2. Meaning that the value of x does not exist for this problem. So this is basically how you can handle such a case. And if you've enjoyed our presentation, kindly consider liking the video, comment, and also the most important, subscribe to our channel so that you can be receiving such amazing content. Thank you for watching this video.